Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Per usual, every time we get a major update within Call of Duty, whether it is a seasonal launch update or a mid-season update, or sometimes just a random one-off title update, we end up seeing a couple of extra things added to the game that are outside of whatever content, whatever changes are happening because of that day's major update, right? This is stuff that's added to the backend files, and then data miners ultimately go in and leak these things. And man, oh man, did we get some pretty spicy leaks when it comes to season four. That update dropped the 1.45 title update, and we now have leaked information on a ton of Black Ops 6 content for launch. We also have new weapon updates for Warzone and MW3, and even more to break down today. So we're gonna dive right in with some of the Black Ops 6 related stuff because there is a ton here. So initially, we now have the versions leaked for Black Ops 6. There's going to be a basic standard edition of the game that's just like your normal stuff it's going to cost the usual price not anything out of the ordinary right there's also going to be a vault edition of the game that's going to come with several different bonuses that we'll be discussing here in just a moment there's also going to be a cross gen edition as well which is for those playing on playstation 4 and playstation 5 or xbox one and xbox series x and s so all the base versions of the game now have officially leaked out because of the modern warfare 3 and warzone game file updates now Talking about some of these bonus skins that have leaked for pre-orders, there's always going to be bonuses here as Call of Duty does year over year. And for Black Ops 6, if you end up pre-ordering, it seems like you're going to get access to a couple of different Frank Woods operator skins. There's actually three different ones. And I got to say, they do look pretty cool. And it's definitely a bit more out there than what we're used to seeing for Call of Duty launches. And this is kind of the same trend with all the content that's leaked so far for Black Ops 6. A lot of the time with Call of Duty, at launch, the game is much more realistic and sort of mill sim based. You don't start to see the crazy camos and operators and blueprints until a few seasons after the fact, but it kind of seems like Treyarch's going all in right away at launch because for the woods operator, we end up seeing a basic sort of wood skin. We see a zombified wood skin. Then we also see a wood skin based around the numbers, which obviously is a pretty common theme throughout uh, Black Ops in general. The Vault Edition then goes even crazier. So some of the Vault Edition skins ended up leaking. We almost see a uh, like Brutus or Warden type zombie skin, sort of like an electric robot looking zombie skin as well. And then what I'd have to imagine is like the Cerberus Operation, like faction skins maybe as well that still seem kind of high tech for a Gulf War based game. But the skins, I gotta say, they do look pretty wild and pretty out there and certainly not what I was expecting, but I also think they look very cool at the same time. And then on top of that, we also got to look at some of the Black Ops 6 Vault Edition weapons. Now, as far as the weapon specifics, we don't know what their names are. We know what they kind of look like, obviously, but there's a couple of different ones here, ranging from a sniper to a new shotgun, an SMG, even a knife that's like covered in dark matter or dark ether camo uh, in a sense there. And again, these are much more flashy, much more out there blueprints as opposed to what we usually see for like uh, pre-order bonuses where it's like a woodland camo or something like that much more basic stuff they're definitely going all in on some of the pre-order bonuses for bo6 and like i said i think a lot of them actually look really really good that said i don't think pre-ordering in general is a great idea anymore especially with uh how call of duties have launched in recent years uh but if you are interested in that you know you're gonna play the game and you do end up pre-ordering you do get some very interesting bonuses this year uh in addition to that with the vault edition you're also going to get some upgrades for zombies gobble gums are going to be returning for that and you'll get a handful of bonus gobble gums available uh throughout the vault edition too so that's going to end up including the gobble gums themselves new operators and skins the frank woods skins weapon blueprints and then also a black cell upgrade yes black cell will be back and if i had to guess uh, all the skins are going to be black and gold whoop de doo hopefully they change that because i'm not gonna lie that's pretty boring every single season but yeah a lot of very surprising, a lot of very interesting Black Ops 6 content leaks stemming from the Season 4 patch. Now, that's not all that ended up leaking. We also got some much more uh, near future things leaked as well regarding MW3 and Warzone content for future seasons, perhaps even uh, this season as we get towards the Reloaded update in just a few weeks' time. So as we dive into all the details with these, 
If you are enjoying the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. It really does help the channel grow. And if you're new here or you simply have not subscribed yet, let's change that. Every single day, I got you covered with news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns, all things going on in COD are right here. So feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications and join us ultimately on the road to 1 million subs. And we know coming up here soon, we are going to see a Fallout crossover event within Call of Duty here. Uh, something that I think is pretty cool and a direct sort of result of the Microsoft acquisition, I'd have to guess. And with this, we are going to see some new operator skins tie in with uh, some of the Task Force 141 members. So basically, it's going to be like the classic Fallout blue jumpsuits with Price and Ghost and Soap and so on. Uh, just basically, Task Force 141 is a vault pack with those skins so that's kind of interesting and then for the actual in-game event there's going to be a new nuka cola camo that's going to be available as like the main reward so we are going to see actual content crossovers but then also an event crossover with fallout here in the coming weeks so we've got that to look forward to Another in-game event coming up actually pertains directly to Black Ops 6. There's going to be another some kind of reveal event in-game. Now, this is pretty standard for Warzone, dating back a couple of years now. We saw in-game reveals for Cold War, for Vanguard, for uh, MW2, and obviously MW3 as well. So with these now, it does appear we're going to see another one with Black Ops 6. And Woods, much like the original Cold War reveal event in-game, our very first in-game reveal, Woods is going to be directing things. He's going to be a big part of this uh, reveal and actually be in-game on the voice comms talking to you and doing all sorts of stuff there. So that's kind of interesting and a bit of a throwback to what originally started all of the in-game reveal events for future Call of Duties. We also know we're going to see some future weapon updates within MW3 and Warzone coming up with Season 5, Season 6, and so on. And a couple of brand new weapons entered the game files with the Season 4 patch. And these are likely going to be the Season 5 weapons, if I had to guess. One of them is codenamed LM underscore RPAPA20. And as of right now, it seems people are uh, assuming this is going to be the RPL20 LMG. The second weapon is going to be uh, BRH Charlie 36 which players seem to think is going to be the HCAR, which is essentially just a modernized bar. So a couple of new ranged weapons that we should see debut here at some point in a future seasonal update. We also got a couple of new details in regards to some future aftermarket parts as well. These are always very fun. Uh, details and some of the specifics here are lacking in some areas, not so much in others. For instance, we know for a fact now the RPK from MW2 and then also the RAL LMG from MW2 are going to end up getting some kind of aftermarket part in the future, but we don't know exactly what those aftermarket parts are going to do. On the contrary, it also appears the Moors is going to end up getting a new aftermarket part in the future to turn it into the Blunderbuss Shotgun. Obviously, this was a weapon that we've seen before in COD in Advanced Warfare. I think we also had it in World War II as well. Sledgehammer likes their Blunderbuss, right? And it does appear a Blunderbuss barrel is coming to the Moors to transform it from a sniper into a shoddy. So that could be pretty fun. And then lastly here, one particular gameplay update that was leaked or gameplay feature that was leaked that kind of stood out to me, it's described in the files as a super redeploy beacon. So obviously we've got the redeploy balloons in game. Those are very convenient for rotating from points A to B, but they don't launch you all that far. Sometimes you have to string together multiple redeploy balloons to get to where you really want to go. A super redeploy beacon kind of sounds like it's going to launch you to wherever you want to go, almost like you're dropping in from the infill plane or something like that. Again, I think that could be pretty interesting. We're not sure if that's going to be something that's exclusive to Urzikstan because it's the big map, obviously, more places you have to travel to, or if it'll be widely available on Urzikstan and Resurgence. Time will tell there, but that's definitely one that stood out to me as like, hmm, that could be a pretty fun and chaotic, uh, you know, new feature that could be added here soon. But across the board, a hey, season four dropped some very, very interesting leaks. And this is a trend that's going to continue in the coming months. Season four reloaded is probably going to leak more stuff for Black Ops six. And then for season five, season five is going to leak more stuff for Black Ops six. And then also season six and so on and so on. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll obviously be covering all the information, all the new leaks and rumors and updates when they end up dropping. So if you want to guarantee you're always up to date, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and drop a like on your way out. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you later. Peace out.